the YouTube channel Beauty's Big Sister. If you haven't been here before, then thank you for landing on this video. If you're coming back, then thank you so much. I am gonna do a flat tour in this video. I feel like I should have got someone to film it so I could do a like, welcome to my crib, but yeah, not that cool. So let me show you my hallway first. We've got this mirror here. This is from Brand Alley and I absolutely love this mirror so much and um, if you haven't shopped on brand alley before they're a really really good website if you are quick on the bill they just have like flash sales and i got this i can't remember how much i think it was like 150 from what i remember 170 but it's huge like you can see here how big it is so it's a really really good size i think i probably will put this in my makeup room because i think i'll get another mirror for here i'd quite like a circular mirror but yeah it's staying here for the time being and then we've got this little man which is a new addition oh no it's 35 days where's the five where's the five guys there's no five am i being dumb okay looks like it's staying as 36. <laughs> I got this from Matalan. Their Christmas selection is actually really, really good. And I love their homeware selection as well. Oh, that's really annoying me. Okay, I'm leaving it. But yeah, it's got like a furry hat, which is really cute. A furry little cape. Even snow boots. How cute is that? This is a new area that I have just done. So this is my shoe rack. Now this isn't as pretty as I would have liked it to be, but I just kind of wanted a quick fix for now and this definitely does the job. This rack is from Argos. It's just all chrome and then it has wheels, which is really handy for cleaning, like if you pull it out or if you want to move it, it's really handy. So I've put, I've tried to make it look as pretty as possible with all color coordinated shoes. So we're starting from the white, going down to nude, and then going into black and my boots. And then here is my special shoes I don't want to get out the box. So my Labutins, then ones are ruined. These Labutins, which I've worn like twice because they're so uncomfortable oh but they are gorgeous and then my new Stuart Wiseman's my knee-high boots which are uh, back there I wore them for the first time this weekend oh, absolutely love them I think it was like 35 pound from Argo that's not too exciting in there that's just junk really underneath the stairs and then we are moving into my living room oh my god i really need to take down my moving in cards <laughs> definitely not just moved in like you know when they're just so nice though that i don't want to i don't want to take them down oh, this drives me insane sunny leaves a pint glass in the most random places so i just found one nestled in between my cards really why can't men just use one glass it's just gonna muck my whole room tour up now. It's made me look like I'm messy. Okay, let's go back. Sofa has arrived. Oh my God, I'm so, so buzzing with it. So let's show you that first of all, because like, this is the most exciting thing in the whole entire room. So this is my brand new sofa from Sofa Club. It's a soft velvet and it's a dark gray. Honestly, this is so soft, I cannot tell you. It's such a gorgeous material. I'm so happy with it. You've got the studs coming down the side here, which I really love. We haven't actually put on the silver feet to it yet. So I will show you guys on my Instagram once they're on, but they'll look really nice. They're nice like silver chrome. Feet. Now I just found this company on Instagram, so I was a little bit worried about the quality of it and how comfy it was going to be. It is so comfortable, I cannot tell you, like, I'm so, so happy with it. I'm just finding myself laying on this sofa a lot. So I would definitely recommend them. I had really bad experience with their delivery guys though. They were just really, really intimidating men. One of the guys that like, had an accent and I genuinely couldn't understand what he was trying to tell me. Like, he was trying to tell me about the replacement feet that I needed to put on. But he was getting more and more aggressive every time I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. So yeah, that was a really intimidating experience. And I signed the form really quickly because I just wanted them to be out my house. 
and then realized that I hadn't received the footstool that I ordered, which is so annoying because not only did they massively muck me around as well with the delivery of it, they told me they were coming in the morning. So I planned my whole day to be at home in the morning. And then in the morning, they called me to say, oh, we're gonna be there in the afternoon. I was like, seriously? But anyway, I haven't got my footstool. So that's quite annoying. And I really, really hope that comes soon. I hope it comes before Christmas. I just feel like with me, there's always something that goes wrong. Like a really easy process for a normal person. It's absolutely fine. But for me, always goes wrong. But the good news is I'm in love with my sofa. It is really big. Now we was contemplating getting the double corner, but when we measured it in this room, we just felt like it was gonna be too big and we didn't really need a double corner. I would say though, if you have got room for a double corner, like go for it. We were looking through their Instagram to try and envisage how big the corner sofa was. So. I'm gonna do that for you if you're in the same position as me. So I am laying, my bum is by the back seat and my feet don't even touch the um, armchair here. So it is a really good size. I mean, when me and Sunny lay here in the evening, we kind of just take up three seats and that's fully laying down. So I think it is a really, really good size. And what's really good about them as well is it comes within 28 days, which is so good for a sofa. Like normally you have to wait about like three, four months. I've put this on it, which is a nice little sheepskin rug. And I think that looks really cool, like laid across the sofa there. That's from Ikea. And then this rug, I mean, it's just the rug that I had in my old office. It's a gray one. It's quite soft from Next, but I think we are gonna get a cowhide or something. What I love about this sofa positioning is that you are looking straight out onto the bay window, which is my favorite part about this flat. It's just so relaxing. There's a really nice big tree here. While I'm sitting here, let's talk about my light. This is from Wayfair. I am so in love with my chandelier. I think it's so, so gorgeous. My brother very kindly put this up for me. All come like separately. You had to put all of the crystals on and the beads yourself, which was fine. It didn't take long at all. And I love the kind of effect it gives on the ceiling. It's a really nice bright light. And again, Wayfair, I would so recommend. I will link everything in the caption below. Um, these again, I got from Wayfair, which is the kind of nesting tables chrome with the glass really really love these again these are a really good price i've got this diffuser now i don't like lighting candles and i wanted something that makes the house smell nice and diffusers just weren't cutting it so this electric hot diffuser is beautiful i love that it's crystal it's from amazon again it was really cheap i think about 10 or 12 pounds and the wax melt that I've got in there is the Yankee Candle Cinnamon one. This light, ignore this, because this won't be staying here. That will go in my beauty room because it's copper. I kind of want the living room or to be chrome. So yeah, that will be moving, but it's just here for the time being. I've then got one of the only plants I haven't killed in the house. An orchid, lovely. Um, temporary pink basket for now to keep my throws. I'm undecided about what to do with here, this section, but the Christmas tree will be going here throughout the Christmas period. So that will fill that space. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've been in for like three months. Should probs take down my new home card? So this is the fireplace. It does work, but as I said, I don't like lighting candles. Oh, what is that? That's from where my orchid used to be. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so this fireplace does work, but I'm just too scared to, yeah, actually work it. So this will never be going on. Um, I have two lanterns either side of the fireplace, which I think are so pretty. I always envisaged having lanterns either side as soon as I saw that this place 
had a fireplace. So the lanterns are from the range as well as the candles. And then the fairy lights I've got in it, which I just think look so, so pretty. They're on a wire, which is great if you do want to wrap fairy lights around something like a candle like this. The lights were from Amazon and again, really, really reasonable. I think they come with like eight in a pack. And then this little man here is from HomeSense. Look at his gorgeous glitter hat. He is so pretty. Okay, moving on to this very random section <laughs> yes i do have a plant in a washing up bowl i need to get a new plant pot but i really really love this plant it's from ikea and it's the yucca what is it called the yucca elephant teeps i think that's how you say it so i need to get a nice plant pot for him but unfortunately it looks like he's dying so i'm not really sure what to do about this situation, do I move him? Does he not like being here? If anyone's got any recommendations about what to do about this guy, then let me know. The top looks great. <laughs> this set of trunks is from Amanda Holden's range at QVC. I think it's called Bundle and Berry, and it's a really nice rose pink. Got the brass details here. Jewelry is in here, and Sunny's books are in this one. Nothing is in here yet, but. Yeah, it's a really cool set of trunks. Because I am keeping the living room silver though, this will be going somewhere else in the house. I think my beauty room. And what I am gonna do with this little area here is I'm gonna put a desk. I've actually already ordered it off of Amazon. And I've also ordered a really nice office chair so that I'm not in my beauty room like all day, all night. This for me is like the prettiest room in my flat. So I want to spend as much time here as I can. And this is where I get the most sunlight coming through in the flat. Whereas in the beauty room, there's no real natural daylight or windows. So I want to spend more time in here. So I'm going to put a desk, an office chair, and put my Mac there so I can edit, do emails and things like that. Oh, one more thing before we head out the living room. How gorgeous is this little cushion? So it is actually a not cushion. It's a nice soft velvet material. It's a lot lighter than the sofa, which I really, really like. It's quite light, but it's perfect as a doorstop. So this is in the small size off of Amazon. But yeah, I think that's a really nice little doorstop. So that's my living room. You've already seen that area. This is forbidden for the minute. That's my beauty room right there. This is definitely a whole other video. Like that's gonna take me a whole other video. I've been seriously working on that room, but we're still not there yet. So I think another week or so, and I'm gonna be fully there with the room as soon as I am. Get ready for a beauty room unveiling and also a tour of my makeup collection. Bathroom, you've already seen in videos before, but this is a new addition. It says powder room and it's all sparkly. Now I got this from a little interior shop in Leon C called Bo. I thought it was just so cute, but the only annoying thing is, is that because this is like eye level here, no one really looks up there. So I don't think anyone sees it, which is a bit of a shame, but I see it and I like it. So that's the main thing. No real update in here, to be honest. Got my little squeegee for making sure that my Glass is super clean. This bath mat is from H&M. We've got my Harrods rubber duckies. <laughs> Molten brown and then these are the products that I'm using at the minute. We've got the Elemis Frangie Pani Manoy bath and shower milk. And then I'm using these two from Hask, which is the Orchid and White Truffle shampoo and conditioner. All of this smells so good. This section, I mean, it's a little bit messy to be honest. So I've got my Cleaning products here, love this stuff for cleaning the toilet. Oh, and also this, the blue foam aroma, so good for cleaning the toilet. Vicow, new best friend. <laughs> then we've got body care products in here, random like scents and stuff. This, the Vera Wang Embrace Green Tea and Pear Blossom, love this for spraying my towels. I know this sounds like really, really extra, but it makes your towels smell so nice. And for this big bottle, it's 10 pounds, which I think is really good for Vera Wang. I mean, you can definitely spray it on yourself as well because, 
Where did I put that lid? There it is. It does smell amazing. I've got this little mini mouse shower cap from Primark for when Sophia comes to stay again. So yeah, this is kind of like my shower gels, body products. There's a Malton Brown in there, Elemir, Sol de Janeiro. Yes, that is live. And then down here, we've got all my hair products, which I need to sort out because it did look tidy when I done it before, but now it doesn't. Also, I keep saying I'm gonna try this. Need to give it a go, it's such a huge size. The Philip Hinsley elasticizer. This is what I keep my cotton pads in, which is quite cute. That's from next. Moving down to the hallway. So I've got a cute picture from my brother's wedding there of us all laughing, which is cute. This is what my friend Caroline bought me. I really love the colors of this and the, the quote. And again on this one, I've got a picture of me and Sunny. And then I've just got another one of those fairy lights in this box here and when it's dark let me show you it creates a really nice kind of pattern on the wall which i really really like so yeah i love my little set of fairy lights they look pretty guys this is like my favorite place right now i am so in love with my bed now i did vlog when this arrived so i'm gonna pop that footage in here now are you okay <laughs> so awkward i was literally putting away the washing while he um carried in all of this on his own and um <laughs> he was literally like Aah! like making noises <laughs> oh, i feel really bad because he was meant to just carry it to the door and i was like please can you bring it to my bedroom which is the furthest room away from the front door all my cushions and my throw ready for my bed i mean i'm not going to be able to like build this sunny's gonna have to do it which could be risky but this looks so nice oh my god i'm buzzing it's like literally the perfect color i was worried that it was going to be a bit dark but this is such a nice light gray let me show you see through that little hole there it's like a plush velvet but it's silver oh, Okay, so the bed is up. Look at it. So this bed is from Love Living UK. I actually found them through Mrs. Hinch. <laughs> if you don't follow Mrs. Hinch on Instagram, you definitely should because she is like the most amazing cleaning blogger ever. So this is from the same company that her bed is from. And I was looking for a light gray soft velvet bed for so long and I couldn't find one that I liked, but this is perfect. So it's a really gorgeous soft material, but I love the bottom of the bed. like even more so this is what the bottom of the bed looks like so it's all quilted what i love if i show you here the actual feet of the bed are silver chrome they look so stylish like i love it so much i don't think i'm gonna have enough room for my storage box to go at the end of the bed but i think it's quite cute here in front of the doors by my garden i think it looks nice this it's very nifty look at this pushes it up for you so i've got loads of room in there for my bedding to go maybe a couple of jumpers same material and color that matches my bed and this is my insane new mattress like can you see the spring there it's oh my gosh gorgeous so this is the simba hybrid mattress i've heard so much about this but you need to try it to see what the hype is about because I didn't think a mattress would make that much difference to a good night's sleep, but wow. This mattress, like, can you see from where I'm sitting in it, when I go down, it just like molds to my body shape. Sunny really, really struggles with having a good night's sleep. Really struggles. Like when we go to a hotel, he probably won't sleep because of the mattress. He's not used to that bed. I woke up this morning, I dropped into the station at half past six this morning, and he said, the first thing he said to me, I had the best night's sleep ever. I mean, I can pretty much sleep anywhere. I did have a really, really good sleep. But for Sonny to say that he had an amazing sleep is like really, really rare. So I am really, really impressed with this mattress. There's so much to it. Let me just read out from the website because there is literally so much to this mattress. So sleep surface, can you see here? It's like 
quilted so our own hypoallergenic airflow sleep surface provides freshness and temperature control. There's a super comfort layer that they call Simbatex to give cool gentle support. There's 2,500 conical pocket springs. They individually adjust as you sleep. Um, it's visco memory foam, it moulds expertly to your body shape, like you can literally see as I'm sitting here it's moulding to my body shape. And it's got a support base that has seven different zones to ensure a perfect night's sleep for all. Like. Honestly, I've never had a more high-tech mattress ever. So if you do want to try it, check out the link below. If you follow that link, you're going to get £75 off of your mattress. So if you do want a Simba mattress, it literally is the gift of good sleep. So if you do really struggle with sleeping, I would recommend this mattress. Let's make the beds a brand new quilt. But first, let's put on the fitted sheet. I did put this on last night with my double bed bedding. Um, just because Sunny built this bed, put it all together last night. I wasn't here. I'm gutted I wasn't here because it would have made great footage for this vlog. And no, I have not ironed this sheet because I've attempted to iron my top two pillowcases and my duvet cover. So I've tried. They might still look a little bit creased, but I've done my best. So this fitted sheet is actually from Sainsbury's. The range is this. So Sainsbury's Home, 100% Egyptian cotton, 400 thread count from Sainsbury's. Really, really good. So I've got the pillowcases and the fitted sheet for that. So that is on there. Do you know what I've just realised? <sighs> literally knackered. I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? Might as well do it my own way. Why am I such an idiot? But again, this is from Sainsbury's as well. Super soft, washable mattress protector. I must say the bed company that I ordered from were really good. Really, really helpful, friendly. I ordered over the phone. It was all good. Let's protect the Simba. Perfect. Now let's put on the fitted sheet. One thing I am forgetting, this. I'm gonna spray the bedding before I put my quilt on and also the mattress as well. So this is the Febreze fabric. Lavender fabric refreshener. Let's just pop all that. Now let's open my brand new quilt. Oh, I cannot tell you how excited I am. Jasper Comran 10.5 Tog Supremely Soft White Duck Down Duvet. 70% white duck down, 30% white duck feather. So I got this ages ago from Debenhams. Felt amazing, it does feel a bit thin. Hopefully it's gonna keep us warm. <laughs> and the duvet cover I've got is this. Now this was a very, very luxurious buy. Probably won't be buying any other white company linen again. <laughs> it's so expensive, but this is the white company Egyptian cotton, 300 thread crown Egyptian cotton satin. Beautiful, like it's literally so soft and silky. It's beautiful. That was 90 pounds. I did have a 100 pound voucher that I got as a Christmas present. So that's what I got with it. Such a lot of money for a duvet cover. It does feel amazing. So like, can you see the sheen to that? It's got a bit of like a, a silky sheen to it. Yeah, the top pillowcases. And the duvet is the only thing I actually iron. <laughs> Just for Conran and White Company. Who do I think I am? Okay, we're balancing it out with Sainsbury sheets. It's all good. Okay, pillowcases. That's mine one. That's Sunny's one. These two that I get confused with. What's the better one? I think that's the better one. I love that one. Okay. I've ordered a handmade grey knitted blanket. Um, I found them on Instagram called Pom Pom, I think it's called. Um, so that looks so nice. How do you make the pillows look nice? These are new cushions that I've just got. Still got the label on because I don't know whether I'm going to keep them. I think I will. They're really soft. They're from Matalan, £12, which was really good. And they come with the stuffing inside. The only thing that is really annoying is that you can't karate chop it. You can't like do the crease down the middle because it just bounces back up. So that's the only thing, but I think it's gonna look nice with this bed. Then we've got these ones 
from H&M. It's just the cushion cover that you buy, so the actual padding of this is rubbish. So I'm gonna get a new padding for this. I should have bought it from H&M because these ones, I bought the padding from H&M as well. And you can karate chop these ones, which is brilliant. I haven't got my throw yet. Should I put this throw in? So gorgeous. This is from Sainsbury's as well. I'm loving the Sainsbury's. This is massive. It's £40 and it's so, so soft. Just a little bit random. Is the bed set up. What do we think? I think these need to be straight. This is so hard to know what to do. So I finally figured out an arrangement where my cushions look best and I, I do like this little arrangement. I think it looks really cute. Update on the mattress. Honestly, it's the best mattress I've ever slept on it is so dreamy we've been sleeping on this for like what a week now and we've had the best sleeps ever if you do want to ask me any questions about the mattress leave them in the comments below now obviously this isn't here from like day to day i just thought i'd be extra fancy and show you <laughs> in this video uh, but i kind of got this for when me and sunny have breakfast in bed it's just a quite handy white tray with legs on it from amazon and this is a plant that is alive woohoo <laughs> from ikea it's a really nice cactus it did actually come in this bowl as well in this plant pot so this is my bed right now oh every morning i just look up onto that headboard and fully fall in love with it um and then this is the bottom it comes down to the floor with the chrome feet as well how gorgeous here's my laundry basket ignore my little footstool here i can't reach the top of my wardrobe so i need a little footstool this is my new laundry basket again from amazon this did come flat pack so you do have to make it i'm really really happy with this laundry basket i think it looks super classy just really fresh and clean fits a lot of washing in there i definitely need to do washing as it's definitely hidden the top oh this poor little guy what are we gonna do with you like he's full-on just died on me and he was such a nice plant from Ikea but yeah R.I.P. Do we need to throw him away? And I've got this little uh, pink storage box for my slippers, straighteners, hair dryer because that's where it's all plugged in there. So that keeps that all quite nice and tidy. This is from Matalam. This is my little window section. Again, I love this part of my flat when I'm laying in bed. Like say I'm laying down here. Or you can see really nice trees and it's just really calming and oh, I love it. The gardeners come the other day. <laughs> Look at my garden. It's literally just mud. But that is such a cute tree. That's a holly bush. So it looks really, really Christmassy. I might even put fairy lights on that. This is a, a newbie. It's actually a Christmas decoration, but I think I might leave it there all year round because I really like it. Um, again, from Matalan, haven't taken the tag off yet. But that was 15 pounds. I showed you this in the before footage, but really, really happy with this gorgeous ottoman. I've got all my bedding in there that needs ironing. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice size. I think it looks gorgeous in the window because it doesn't really fit like here but i do really like it there i think that looks really pretty and then last but not least the kitchen i don't know what's new to show you i've got these new bar stools these are from amazon i feel like that's all i'm saying amazon 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 but yes i do spend my life on amazon homeware shopping so these are really nice chrome bar stools really happy with them i've got four of them they're super comfy the only thing i would say is they mark quite easily one of these is ruined is it that one yeah can you see that mark there it's basically when anything like plasticky or leathery goes against it because it's not real leather but they definitely do the job and they're a really good value we have a new little cake stand maybe i should put the light up one sec is that better <laughs> yeah i'm really into cooking banana bread banana muffins right now so this is a really nice cake stand from sainsbury's but i cracked it literally in the car home from buying it so that's really annoying i'm hoping if it's just like to the back no one will see <laughs> shown these before but love my toaster and kettle these are both from delonghi i got these on very and they were slightly cheaper this is my key cupboard 
fully stocked of teas. Clipper stocked me up on teas, which is amazing. <gasps> Let me show you these things here because they're really cool. I got these from a little Spanish shop when I went to Spain and you put these on your tea cup like that so it keeps your tea warm. What a good idea. So I got a little pineapple and a chocolate. Also, if you go to M&S and think, oh yeah, nice festive tea, don't be fooled. It's just normal tea. <laughs> like it literally says, compliments the flavors of Christmas. Babes, this is just a normal tea. I got really excited for like cinnamon and clove vibes, but no, it's just normal. Over here, we've got another dead plant. How gorgeous. This is my dead orchid. Apparently though, this is the time of year when they should be dying and then they're gonna reflower. Let me know if I'm right. Got a trio of cactuses from Ikea. Obviously these, which are absolute life. If you don't have these in your house, you just need them because these are from Aldi's. They're the pomegranate number three luxury room spray and diffuser. This is such a gorgeous scent. Favorite washing up liquid ever. Yope. Molten brown hand wash in there. And then some Yope hand lotion. The vase here, which I really like, but what on earth has happened here? It's literally going black and see-through. I don't understand. Does anyone know what might have caused this? Is it the flower food that I put in the water? Like, I'm really confused. I do really like this, and Sunny was like, well, at least it gives it like an antique feel. <laughs> I'm not sure it does, but this is from The Range. And then this tray, which you might recognize from Mrs. Hinch's home, is from Amazon. Really like it. Let's show you into my Narnia, shall we? We've got these boxes from Ikea, which are very, very handy. What have I got? 1001 Carpet Fresh, Febreze Air. That's my bedtime blast, but I do love, where is it, this one at the minute, the Glade one. Barley, sandalwood, and jasmine. That's really nice. Ovs, Zaflora. So I've got the linen fresh in the magnum bottle. And then winter spice. This smells really, really good. More winter spice. And then I've got a winter morning as well. Got a Mr. Sheen in there. Really like this for spraying like my bedding and sofa. And then down here, we've just got wipes, cloths. This is a really... Really nice cloth. Magic sponge erasers. These are so good. They just remove everything and make everything come up really good. If they've got stains or any marks on it. So guys, that's the end of my new flat tour. Obviously it looks a little bit different from where you last saw it. I really hope that this vlog was interesting or at least a little bit entertaining or anything for you guys i hope it wasn't boring because obviously it's not my normal beauty stuff but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do want more vlogs then let me know in the comments below i am on the hunt for an eight foot artificial christmas tree so if you know of anywhere where i can get one for good value then let me know in the comments below but yeah i'll be decorating my home all christmasy soon so i'll be vlogging that for you guys and also Cannot wait to show you my beauty room. Like, you guys are gonna die. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. It's just so comfy.